Tonight's top story, WVUA 23's weekend sports anchor William Galloway joins us live tonight from the newsroom. And William, another victory for the top to you. How did they look today? Really, really good. And I enjoyed seeing the Crimson Tide roll over uh, the volunteers today. And the win came at a high price. On the first play of the game, Alabama star wide receiver and return man Jalen Waddle suffered a high ankle sprain and fracture after moving to his left on the kickoff return. A casual play turned into a catastrophic moment as the junior was tackled from behind. It's similar to the injury Kenyon Drake suffered against Ole Miss in 2014. Waddle got up in pain and was later taken out of the stadium by ambulance at the end of the first quarter. Coach Saban had an emotional halftime response. He's, uh, he's out. He's out. He's out for the year. And it's a shame because the guy's a great player. It's exciting for college football to see a guy play like that. Um, I hate it that he gets hurt on a play like that. Um, you know, not supposed to bring a ball out when you're that deep in the end zone, but he's a great player. So, you know, you got to give him, let him use his judgment. Coach Saban said post game that Jalen Waddell and team doctors flew on a private jet back to Birmingham. I'll have more in sports on that and highlights from the game. Live in the newsroom, William Galloway, WVUA 23 Sports. Good evening, everyone, and happy Saturday. I'm William Galloway. As I mentioned at the top of the show, Jalen Waddell is out for the year, but his coaches and teammates were able to pull it out for him today against Tennessee. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of Alabama's 48-17 win over the Vols. In the first quarter, Najee Harris capped off a six-play, 70-yard drive with a one-yard touchdown run. Bama goes up 7-0. Later in the first quarter, Mac Jones, deep ball, this one to John Mechie, it hit hard, and he makes the catch, though. Still goes down with it. That helps set up a one-yard quarterback sneak for Mac Jones. 14-0, Bama, 2.54 left in the first quarter. The ground game made a difference for the Crimson Tide today. Brian Robinson getting in on the action. A seven-yard touchdown run from B-Rob, 21-3, Bama at that point. We go to the third quarter, and Najee Harris from one yard out, he had three touchdowns and 96 rushing yards on the day. That Bama fan loves it right there, and I'm sure you did too. Also, Will Reichard hit three field goals today. He played really well. Bama wins at 48-17, to and Coach Saban was pleased, but today his focus was on Jalen Waddell. Um, this guy's a great player. Uh, he's a great teammate. Uh, he's an exciting player to watch. Um, hate it that, you know, people in college football can't see a great player uh, the rest of this season, and uh, but... You know, we had some other guys step up tonight and create an opportunity for somebody else. And we're going to coach the players that we have and uh, do the best we can to try to get better. Auburn was on the road at Ole Miss this afternoon looking to get above 500 on the year. We go to the fourth quarter and Auburn's Tank Bigsby breaks to his left and rumbles 18 yards for the touchdown. Nobody stopping the tank and a bad snap on the PAT would only put Auburn up 6, 27 to 21. So Ole Miss wanting to get back into it. They respond as Jerry and Ely takes it five yards up the middle for the score, 28 to 27 Ole Miss, 543 left in the fourth quarter. And Auburn now trying to answer. Bo Nix to Seth Williams, and Seth Williams makes a sprint to the end zone. Go ahead, touchdown. Auburn wins it 35 to 28. Went down to the very end. That's just the way this year is is going. But uh, we had an extremely tough uh, week last week, and our guys held it together. And uh, they fought, and this will be some good momentum for us moving forward with the way we won. How about some SEC East action? Missouri hosting Kentucky today in the third of four SEC games. Second and goal from the one for Missouri, and Larry Roundtree, the third, backs his way in for the score. Tigers would go on the board first versus the Wildcats. Third quarter, it's Roundtree again, and this time he runs to his left, and look at all those Kentucky defenders just inches from the goal line. They make the stop but he would go right back at him on the next play. He would go to his right and score. Missouri defeats Kentucky 20 to 10. Roundtree finishes with 126 yards on the ground and two scores. And in the last SEC game of the day, South Carolina went down to Baton Rouge and the Tigers got the best of the Gamecocks 52 to 24. 
On the national scale, the Big Ten kicked off their season today. Unranked Nebraska at number five, Ohio State. In the first quarter, it's quarterback Adrian Martinez. He's going to keep it first and goal. Ten-yard touchdown run. Cornhuskers on the board first. And that was the only threat Nebraska would make all game. Justin Fields here, 42-yard strike to Garrett Wilson. Beautiful catch and throw. Buckeyes had a 28-point second half and won it 52-17 to over the Cornhuskers. After three rounds of the Zozo Championship, Justin Thomas sits in first place at 19 under. He shot five under in today's round at Sherwood Country Club in California. We'll have an eye on JT and see if he can bring home the trophy tomorrow in the fourth round. And congratulations to the Tuscaloosa Christian varsity volleyball team. They won the ACAA state championship today over Cornerstone Christian of Decatur. A big win there. So that's it for sports tonight. I'm William Galloway. We'll be right back after this.